Hi there, it's Catherine from Wimpure again. I hope you had a chance to watch my first video about the welcome screen on Wimpure and loading the data. If you remember, I left you off here the last time after my very quick introduction. I only want to do tiny little bite sizes to give you an idea. So the next stage we're going to go on to is obviously cleaning. Now look here, we've got all of this information about the statistics down on the right hand corner. This tells us what's noisy, what's potentially bad, what's filled, what's empty. So if you're in the marketing department, straight away you see that you've got 88% empty email addresses. So if somebody tells you you've got a database of a million records and 88% is empty, then your statistics on your marketing campaign are not going to go very well. So we don't want that. We want to take that away and fill that information in. Send it to sales, get them to find out what the email address is or whatever we want to do. So going back to the cleaning metrics, you can see this whole matrix here. Now, one thing I do want to say very quickly right now is this software is available free. And obviously, if you have more tables and more records at a cost, my boss is extremely kind and for some reason allows a completely free version of this so that you can get to know the software and use this whole cleaning matrix that I'm showing you and the duplication. Now, there's a few things you can't do in the free version, but most of the things are there. So do feel free to take advantage of the fact that my boss is so generous. I'm trying to get a pay rise. So on the matrix above, as you can see here, I can remove dots, commas, letters, anything that's messy or noisy that I don't want in my data. And I can watch these changes happening and reflecting down here. And on some versions of the software, I can use regex. Now, I don't know if you know about regex, I certainly still am learning, but with regex, if you've got a product number or something complex where it's a string value that should have, for example, three letters at the beginning, nine numbers and a letter, you can use regex to tell you whether this is right or wrong. So on our website here, you can find a bunch of regex expressions we've already put to place telling it to remove items that shouldn't be there, remove functional parts of a decimal, but you can also write any regex expression you want in order to complete the required tasks that you need with your data. As I say, very, very useful on product numbers, catalog numbers, account numbers, and identifying what's potentially wrong within that data that obviously normal software wouldn't, wouldn't be able to guess because it's your data at the end of the day. I'm going to go into more about the matrix and all the different functionality in another video, but I just wanted you to see what it looks like to export statistics on what your data looks like before you even start doing anything to know what's noisy and what's not. I'll see you again soon. Thanks for watching.